Good morning, guys. Yesterday we talked about angle relationships and if they were vertical or adjacent um, and ways to name an angle and talked about acute and right and obtuse and straight angles. So all of that you're kind of going to apply to today with what we're gonna start talking about. So the next two types of angles that we're gonna talk about are called co complementary and supplementary angles. And this goes along with the page 153 and 154 that you guys have. So getting into this, just a couple definitions to explain what complementary and supplementary mean. And then I'm gonna get into a couple examples of what you guys will actually see on your homework and on the practice. So a complementary angle is if the sum of their measure measures up to 90 degrees. So this kind of goes back to yesterday, a 90 degree angle, or if you guys see this little box, tells you that it is a right angle. Right angles always add up to 90 degrees. So in your <coughs> homework, there will be questions like this where it will say, is this angle um, relating to like 25 degrees and 65 degrees, is this a complementary angle? Um, the answer is yes. In this case, they add up to 90, so 65 plus 25 is 90 degrees, so it would be a complementary angle. Um, let's say it had been 65 and 10 degrees. Um, 65 plus 10 degrees is 75 degrees. It would not be a complementary angle because it does not add to 90 degrees. So this other example up here, there are two separate angles, but if it's if they're telling you to add them together, um, you can add them 31 plus 59 also equals 90 degrees. So if you see the box, like we talked about yesterday with right angles, it should add up to 90 degrees, which we'll get into a couple examples of if there's a missing piece in a minute. Then the opposite of that, or kind of the other vocabulary word we're gonna focus on is supplementary. If the sum of their measure is 180 degrees. So this is the straight line that we talked about yesterday. If it's a straight line, it's 180 degrees. So these are both examples of supplementary angles. 120 plus 60 is 180. And then 45 and 135 also equals 180. So again, if it was something like up here, if it was like 120 plus 50 and it only equals 170 degrees, then it would not be a supplementary angle. So complementary is 90, supplementary is 180. Okay. So as far as what you guys are gonna be expected to do with this lesson, there's a couple different examples. Um, this is one of them. This You won't see this one as much. It's more so going to be um, identifying if they're complementary or sup supplementary, um, and then finding missing pieces, which will be the examples after this. So this example is asking you to identify each pair of angles, um, if they're complementary, supplementary, or neither. So in this first picture right here, with the one, two, three, four, the one and two, and it's kind of difficult, could be difficult to see, so this line right here, uh, the one and two make up those degrees. So since this is a straight line, the degree of one and two form a straight line. So they're supplementary, they would add up to 180. You could also look at this line right here. Um, two, the angle of two and the angle of three would also be create a supplementary line, the same thing with one and four. So this is similar to the adjacent angles that we talked about yesterday. In this case, you can't know for certain because you don't know the degrees of one, two, three, and four, but if it's two straight lines intersecting with one another, they're gonna add up to 180. So one and two would add up to 180, two and three, three and four, and then one and four, um, just if you see a straight line, it's most likely 180 degrees. Okay. And then this other one, this picture right here shows an example of a complementary degree. So 60 degrees plus 30 degrees gives you 90 degrees in, in the definitions that we just talked about. Complementary 
um, is equal to 90 degrees, supplementary is equal to 180 degrees. So had you, and I know it says neither on there, had you had um, something that maybe looked like this and then said one and two right here, um, if this is a right angle. So, and then it asked you what this is. This right here is not labeled with anything, but this would be a complementary degree, but it's really in a question like this asking you about um, angles one and two, if they're complementary, supplementary, or neither, because this is not a straight line and this isn't a straight line and these aren't um, in this. So had this line gone through and the one and two been right here, you could say that this is complementary, but because it's not right there, um, this would be neither. So this would actually, because this opens up more, this would be one and two would be a number larger than 180 degrees. So it would be neither one of those options. So that would be something that would be neither, just to give you an, a quick example of that. So this again is asking you to identify whether they are complementary, supplementary, or neither. So looking at this slide, for the top 85 and 90 degrees, if you add those together, um, so we'll do that really quick, maybe. So 90 and 85, if you add them, I get five, and then nine plus eight is 17. So this would be 175 degrees. So this would be neither. So don't just automatically assume because this is a straight line that it's going to be supplementary. You need to make sure you guys add them together. You can get something like this and this not be the case. And then down here, and the number is kind of hiding, but this says 75 and then 15. So if I were to add 75 and 15, I get five and five is 10, and then seven plus one plus two would be nine. So this would be a complementary angle. I'm gonna abbreviate right there because I don't have enough room off of the screen. So just some more examples of this for you guys to see. And looking at this, and this is what most of your homework is going to be, so you need to have an understanding when you guys see this box that right here, um, that it is automatically telling you that because it is a right angle, it needs to add up to 90 degrees. This is a complementary angle. So what these types of questions are asking you to do, if I know that this is 90 degrees, and this angle right here is 62 degrees, I need to find the missing part. So you can think about this as two ways. So if you remember back to when we talked about algebra and solving for one letter um, or one step equations, you can think about this as X plus 62, so my missing piece plus my 62 that I know is going to be equal to 90. Uh, what that really is, if you guys remember solving for equations, in order to get the x by itself, I would need to do the opposite operation to move it. So it would turn into x is equal to 90 minus 62. Or you can, I know some of you are gonna get this quickly, you can just think about it as 90, minus 62 is going to give me X, okay? Once you get into higher math classes, this isn't always going to be that easy. You're gonna have actual equations um, within those angles. So you need to make sure you understand this now. So again, if I'm gonna subtract those, I have 90 minus 62, I need to borrow, this would give me eight and then eight minus six is going to give me two. So X is equal to 28. You can double check, add them back up really quick. Eight plus two is 10, then six plus three is nine, it equals 90. Okay. Then adding a complementary 
angle. So that was 90 degrees and then adding a supplementary angle. So again, you know, a supplementary angle or a straight line should add up to 180 degrees. So if I know this side right here is 130 and I need to solve for X, again, you can think about it is X plus 130 equals 180. So if I were to solve it that way, I have X plus 130 equals 180. To get X by itself, I need to do the opposite operation and subtract. That cancels out and leaves me with X. And then I have 180 minus 130, which is going to give me 50 degrees. So X is equal to 50 degrees, okay? Um, this is mostly what your homework is. The biggest thing is just making sure that you're adding up to what you need to. So if it's a straight line, it should be 180. If it has the right angle in it, it needs to add up to 90. Um, there's not a whole, I mean, most of your homework is pretty, there's not anything that's super, super confusing on your homework. Um, one of the questions I went over in this video, so it should be pretty simple to um, understand that. If you have something that looks like this with a line continuing through it, it's still gonna be 180. You're focusing on this line right here, not the other line. Um, so don't worry about this bottom piece right here. Even if it's there, just kind of ignore it. The other thing that you guys will see is you may have two numbers in an X. So if there was another line right here and this angle was 10 degrees, you would now have X plus 10 plus 130. So it's the same, same thing, um, except for I now need 130 plus 10 plus X to add up to 180. So 130 plus 10 is 140. And if I need it to get to 180, this would now be 40 degrees. So that's really the only other thing that you guys will see on here as far as your practice and your homework. Okay, so if you guys have questions, please reach out to me, please let me know. Um, your biggest thing is remembering complementary is 90, supplementary is 180. If you pay attention to that, then you should do really, really great on this section. And we will get into circles tomorrow. Um, as far as displaying circles and making circle graphs. So hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. Bye guys.